ladies and gentlemen, this is Fimulus ASMR, and today I'm going to be showing you the very basics of how to build a Python project, like starting with the most bare bones basics. Bare bones basics. Bare bones basics. It's a nice, sounds good. So, um, I feel like Python is the best way to do this because it's very, very easy in terms of programming languages. There are far, far more difficult ones out there. And, yeah, also I'd like you to excuse the car sounds that you may hear going by because I live right next to a fairly main road and I apologize for anything that you may hear, especially screaming children. Uh, that sounds accurate, that sounds terrible, but I'm also next to a park, so. Yeah, okay, so, weird stuff aside, let's just get right into it, so. Uh, <coughs> starting with the most basic of basics, Python is, um, really, it is a scripting language, oh, it is a scripting language, um, which, what that is, is basically, Something along, uh, it's a programming language that allows you to automate uh, tasks. That's what really a script is, kind of, but that's really what it's made for. Um, it can be used for basically everything, uh, data collection, and um, well, that, that's another big part, data collection, but I'm going to show you how to make a text-based game, um, maybe with a menu. I'm not sure. I have no idea. I'm sort of improv improvising this, uh, which is how I basically do just about every single thing, and I'm hoping it'll come out nice. So, down here you can see me, I was tinkering with some other things. What is your name, Potato? How's that a name? So that's what we're gonna kind of be ending with um, today. Uh, kind of, that kind of thing. You'll, you'll get a response based on different things. <laughs> so, let's get into it. So the first thing you need to know with Python is the print uh, function. Now, print, sorry about the asterisk there, the print, print is basically used to have a, um, well, to print to the console. So the first thing we will do is we will just say print, then in parentheses, which is basically when, how you inject values into a function, print, and then in quotes, because we want to print a string right now. Print, hello, there, for Obi-Wan, because, because, yeah, <laughs> General Kenobi. Anyway, so, now I do, is now this is pie, uh, this is pie charm, which is provided to me via my school. Um, I'm a tech major, so I program all the time. Uh, so they kind of just give you this, uh, it's a really, I don't think it's too expensive, but it's fairly expensive. Um, I'm not going to show you uh, different software that you can use or how to install it. There are tons of videos about that. Uh, if there's anybody that requests it, I'll do it. Literally one request. I, I don't really care. Um, but it's a hassle, so I'm not going to go through it again. Um, another program, I believe, is called Atom. I think A-T-O-M, Atom. Uh, I think you can literally use Windows Notepad, too. Uh, you just have to have the extension .py, .py, and it will run in a command prompt. In fact, I'm pretty sure you can just run it in command prompt. You're going to need the Python IDE, though, and you can download that from the Python uh, official website. So, hopping into this. So, print, hello there. Sorry, I got sidetracked, but that is important. So, I'm going to run this, and it's going to run it. I'm going to say hello there. Um, I have a, um, I'm failing to remember the actual technical term, but basically what this is, this is just a fake console, um, it's not real. Um, it basically renders it just for this, um, so I can test stuff. So it says, you know, hello there, um, in the console, prints it. Now what we can do is we'll go up, we'll go, oh, I should move this one minute. Sorry about that. So, the next thing we will do is actually change this up a little, tiny bit. I'm going to introduce variables. Now, variables are, ba 
basically values that are stored within um, a phrase or a word. Uh, and I'll show you what I mean. So I can actually say, we'll use the, we'll use the phrase phrase. Now, phrase is equal to, you basically, in order to store stuff in a variable uh, name, you have to use the equal to sign. It's equal to, we'll use hello. Um, and basically what I've said is, the string hello is equal, that was loud, is equal to phrase. And then we replace this with just phrase, no quotes, because it's not a string anymore. Well, it's still a string, but we're not saying uh, that this is a string. This will print hello. Um, another thing I should mention that I didn't really mention, but I'll, now's a good time. Quotes define a string. A string is basically, uh, it's basically a word. Um, it's it, it basically what a string is, is a collection of characters that is not an integer. Well, an integer would be something like three. Uh, and if we print this, we'll actually get three. But if we do like a phrase, like three plus two, we'll get five. Because you can add to it. Now, something that won't work is if you do hello plus two. You're gonna get an error because it must be string, not int. Basically what it's saying is this cannot be an integer because I, it actually thinks I'm trying to concatenate two to hello, which you can do. If I put this, if I put this in quotes, it would, will, oh, it disappeared. Don't know how that happened, but if we do this, we're actually gonna get hello exclamation point two. See? So what that's called is concatenation. So if we, for example, if we remove that, so it just says hello, and then in here, I add uh, ASMR, for example, we're going to have hello ASMR. So that's basically how you can kind of manipulate variables. Um, kind of, I'm going to, it's not really that useful yet, but in one second, you will see how it really is really important. So yeah, so basically what we can do is say, we're gonna scrap this whole thing and we're gonna say, print, what is your name? Wow, people are real busy outside. I apologize, but there's, is that a motorcycle? Wasn't a, that was not a motorcycle. It sounded like one, but it was like a little SUV. People these days, am I right? Jeez. So, print, what is your name? Now I'm going to teach you another thing called an input. Now, say we'll say name, the variable name is equal to what the user inputs in the console. Input can be used for uh, basically anything, and the actual program will figure out what you're inputting. So, and then we say, we can just say print uh, name. So basically what's happening here is we're asking, we're saying, what is your name? We're printing that in the console. Whatever the user inputs will be assigned the value name, and then we are printing the value name to the console. So what is your name? My name is Felix. It will say Felix, and the program will stop running. Again, uh, not that useful yet, but that is very important to know how this works. Um, if we try doing name plus two, again, you're going to run into problems because if we say this, it's going to think, it's going to basically say, it's it's the same errors from, from before. It's confused because this is a name when we say Felix is a string, but it's not, it's all messed up, basically. It doesn't really make any sense. It, it doesn't know what to do. Uh, if we input two, you're gonna have problems also because input is going to view this as a string. Now what you can do is I believe you can do like uh and I think you can you can um it's called projecting, I think you can say like in name or something, I think it's something along those lines. Um I don't remember exactly how that works because I don't really use I don't really use integers, to be honest. Um ever. Um but yes, I had it wrong, my bad. It's even simpler, and I don't think it's called projecting. This is what you mean, this, this is what happens. I'm not, I'm not a whiz kid with, with 
this stuff, but I do kind of know my way around. So, and I don't really care. So, this should work. So, if you say two, we'll get four because basically I'm saying this is a function called int, similar to how this is a function called print. Whatever you put in the parentheses uh, will basically be run through the this um, built in function called int, which will turn it into an integer. Um, this is the problem. I do all these different programming languages that all use have their own weird syntax. So, yeah. Okay, so on to the next thing, which is where we can really get going on the more interesting concepts. So, the name is, uh, name is equal to input. So, we can use an if. Now, if is used for basically, uh, well, it, it's basically English. If name, the value of name, will do if name is equal to now notice how i used two equal signs two equals basically means is equal rather than uh, assigning so while this is used for assigning whatever they input to name this is saying if whatever they inputted as name is equal it's a little weird but almost every, I think um, basically every programming language uses that. You can also do that for not equal, not equal to. So if we say if name is equal to Felix, then now uh, for some reason this doesn't require parentheses. I don't know why Python doesn't use parentheses. Um, if you're new to programming, you don't know what I'm talking about. Um, but a lot of time in if statements, it has to be in a parenthesis, like parenthetical statement. I'm not sure why Python doesn't require that. I prefer it. Makes it easier to read it, but whatever, for me at least. But you don't need it in Python. So, the next thing we have to do is basically say what is happening if the name is equal to Felix. In this case, we will just say yay, because I don't, I just want to say yay, whatever. And we can actually say else, right? If it is equal to anything else, right? We will just say print uh, potato. So basically, if the name is equal to Felix, print yay, else, print potato. So, what is your name? Felix, yay. Ooh, that worked well. And what is your name? Um, Jesus, these, these cars, man. Cars, man. Potato. So that that's basically the way that the very basics of Python work. You can get much, much more advanced. Um, I will show you something really, really quickly if I can quickly build this. Um, say we were starting making a game, right? Um, we could just do something like print um, one uh, start game. Options and print uh, three. Uh, this could be maybe exit or something. Then we could say if, oh, we can then do um, selection because we want to say selection is equal. I'm not going to really explain this very hard because it's a little more, not more advanced, but a little more just slightly complex than I've been going over. But this is just the kind of way you can use this stuff in a very, 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 very basic way. So selection is equal to input. Um, if selection is equal to one. Now this is where you gotta be careful because it's going to actually want to um, use one as in the um, integer and it's not gonna be an integer. Um, so we're actually gonna wanna do one like that. Uh, now what you can also do is in here, you could say int and run the input through an int function in here. Uh, but again, not doing that. So if selection is equal to the string that is one, there's a difference. Still very weird. Um, if it's equal, we'll just say, well, just for now, we're not going to actually run anything. We'll just say print start. Uh, if, if selection is equal to two, uh, print uh, options. And if select selection is equal to three, You can actually run something uh, that will stop the code, but I'm not going to do that. Um, now, there's a few problems with this. Uh, some things that won't work quite right. 
Um, but for now, let's show you. So, like, if you just say, like, oh, um, start game, it'll start, and, you know, like, if you did, like, options, like, that'll all work. Um, again, this is a still very, very basic kind of, like, menu or something, but this is the kind of way to, if statements can be applied in a more practical sense. So, um, and you'll actually notice that you're gonna have a problem if you do this. It stops the code, but nothing happens. What you have to do in this case is, there's two ways you can start, you can fix this, um, and I will cover these in later videos, but real briefly, you can put this, the menu, as a function, and then basically start the program. And, uh, when it starts, you run the function. Uh, for those of you who don't know, a function is basically a variable. It, the way I explain it is basically, it's a variable, but instead of it just being like a, a string or something, it's like a chunk of code. My professors always say not to describe it like that, but if you're new, that's the, I think that that's the best way to describe it. Basically, a variable equal to a bunch of code. So, again, that's not what it is, but that is the best way to describe it. Um, I'm just, I'm sitting, ow, I'm sitting, I'm, si I'm sitting on my feet and I just went numb. Um, and the, the other way you can do this basically though, like I said, is put this in a function, start the program by running the function, and then if they say something like, you know, like, if selection is equal to four, um, clear the con, like clear, I think you can let it use clear or something, you have to import it, I'm pretty sure, uh, and then run the function again, um, and you can even say like, not a valid option, or something, um, there's, a bu there's tons of ways to deal with this, um, and Python is very, very lightweight, um, usually, sometimes, so, anyway, so, uh, I went a little more further than I was going to, I kind of went off the cuff a little bit there, but I hope that I may have inspired some of you out there to, um, actually stick with this, um, and I hope that it's been a solid video, uh, and rather chill and calm and maybe even relaxing, though unlikely, probably, <laughs> um, and, uh, yes, but that's all I have to say, so I will see you in the next video, or rather you will see me, and I'll talk to you all later.